All right, guys, this is the last one of the eight videos I have uploaded today. And my man, JT Thor from Alaska, okay? People did not know that. I feel like that's like a thing. People are just finding out. Yeah, for, he's 18 years old, six. I don't know why I just said 6'5, but JT Thor, he's 18 years old, 6'9, 205 pounds from Anchorage, Alaska. He has 9.4 points, five rebounds. About an assist a game, 1.6 turnovers with 1.5 blocks a game. About a steal game, 44% from the field and 30% from three. He's got this twitchy, quick athleticism, and he has a seven foot three wingspan on a six foot nine frame. That's probably going to be six foot ten when he finishes growing. And his strength is we've seen on defense. He's real plus on that side. He slides his feet great. He's very active. And the only problem is he's just not that strong right now. Okay, he's not the strongest guy in the barn or on the court i don't know why i'm saying and he's very raw in, in terms of how he processes his, and his basketball iq and his mechanics need work he just shot 29.7 percent and he has the confidence it just needs work he's off balance a lot of time and he's always leaning or turning one way and he has a narrow base so look thor's mixture of size length reactivity and fluidity makes him genuinely a fascinating defensive prospect at only 18 years old if his shooting ever comes around he's a three and d hybrid you know stretch for small ball bit big so we're more athletic than Jalen Stick Smith for the Suns, who could provide some interesting, unique value as a stretch five or small ball five, stretch four, if he can get stronger. He's still so young, and there's so much time for him to develop. There's just so much he needs to improve on. I'm not sure I can remember a prospect entering the league who needed to add so many things to become an effective player in doing so, such as he needs to get stronger, he needs to become more consistent at shooting, become a better passer, can turn to learn in terms of defensive rotations that's just the baseline and not to become an actual plus player in each of those skills he's multiple years away from making an nba impact and will need a ton of time in the g league by the time thor is 25 i will buy into him at being an interesting player but i'm not sure any team drafting him is going to have the patience to take that ride right now given his deficiencies i'm happy to give him a chance in the second round with a two-way deal but yeah so let me hear those thoughts down below. That's the end of today's eight videos. Eight more tomorrow. Peace out.